Now, a great story in the sun today uh, about uh, this gang uh, posing as beggars, posing as homeless people, uh, panhandling around a posh spa town. Turns out that they actually arrive at this town by Mercedes or in buses uh, and they coordinate their efforts and uh, they're raking in 500 quid a day. Uh, I sometimes wonder, I mean, I use the tube, uh, the underground train in London a lot, and I sometimes wonder about these people. You see the same people the day after day after the day coming into the... I said to one of them the other day, I said, since I recognise you, why don't you recognise me? They never look at the passengers. They should. I said, because you were here yesterday and the day before. So uh, sometimes, I mean, you know, spirit of human kindness and all that, but you have to be suspicious about these people. You really, really do. Uh, and a brilliant story in The Sun reveals exactly why we should be suspicious about them. And uh, a warm welcome to the studio, to the author of this excellent investigation, Alex West. Hello, Alex. Hello. Um, well, just tell us the story of what you found out uh, in the uh, posh spa town of Bath, where, of course, there are lots of tourists uh, yeah. every single day. Tell us what Yeah, yeah about six million tourists from all around the world come to Bath every year, actually. We were tipped off from um, a, a local resident there uh, about uh, this gang that was moving in to the to the town um, during the summer months, um, it been become a, a bigger and bigger problem, um, and they were clearly coming in from out of town, weren't locals and weren't homeless people, um, and we 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 set up a, a investigation where we um, we watched them, and. Uh, uh, they effectively come into town on buses and, as you say, in, a, in, in this flash blue Mercedes with a personalised number plate, um, <laughs> Sorry, uh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't arrive into the city and um, where... Sort of they, dressed down a bit, yeah? Well, yeah. dressed down a bit, but then again, not, not in very shabby clothes, uh, wearing sort of, you know, modern sportswear, um, you know, nice jackets and, and, and um, rucksacks and, and so on. And so, and, th and then they take up a position in, in, in the city centre which is thronging with you know kind-hearted tourists and locals um, and uh, out of the bag they get out a cardboard sign which is uh, almost exactly the same sort of seven or eight of them all with the same sign saying I'm hungry God bless you a, a very similar sort of uh, thing to that um, take out that take out a Costa coffee cup um, and get a, a rug out of their bag. I mean, in the day we watched, it was uh, it was one of our few nice, warm, sunny days that we've had this summer. Yeah. Uh, it was about 22 degrees, and they sit down on the floor, put the rug over their legs, and put the uh, put put the, the the coffee cup out in front of them with the sign, and then sit there and and effectively sort of prey on the generosity of the denizens of Bath for the day, um, and as say you know uh, able to um, the the police. You know, estimate they could make up to five hundred pounds a day between them. It could be more. So uh, that that that's it. And we watch we watch them through the day revolve around the pitches, not in an aggressive way, but just sitting there and um, uh, letting people fill their their cups with with coins uh, and then disappear at the end of the day. Uh, uh, so, so did, did how many people did you estimate? We're sort of in this gang. So we 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 counted uh, about seven or eight um, uh, people who were actually actively begging, and then there was a couple of other people who were clearly part of the the, the group or knew them. Um, it, you know, quite oddly, the, the the group who were doing the begging were dressed down a little bit. Um, and then the uh, at one point at lunchtime they were joined by a couple of friends who knew them. One of these guys was absolutely immaculately dressed in in sort of quite questionable double denim, but with very smart glasses Bad and taste cloth for hair. expensive clothes. Well, yeah. quite well, I'm you know not 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 you know not super expensive. I'm not sure you know they're not making you know, a fortune. These guys, what they're doing is illegal. They're preying on uh, the the kindness, generosity of people, yeah. and they're taking away from uh, the, yeah, the, I, the I, genuine homeless in the city. As well. That's what you've said. So, so you, you, police estimate that these kind of professional beggars can make uh, more than fifty pounds a day each. Mm -hmm. So, with this gang, they could be clearing about five hundred a day. Uh, that's ten thousand pounds a month, or even more if they go out uh, on weekends and evenings. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've also created a big issue seller in the city uh, saying, you know, they take money away from genuinely homeless people. Mm. I mean, 
you know, there are beggars out there who do deserve our sympathy, but you, you don't know who to trust, do you, when you read stories like this? Sure. Sure. No, it can it can be confusing, and 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 perhaps it will have a knock on effect that those who are most in need won't get the, get the money. I mean, the police do suggest that people, if they do want to give, that they do it through charitable um, through, through charities uh, and through you know pr prescribed ways of doing that, rather than giving to people on the street, because then it does encourage this sort of behaviour. Um, but I think a, a wider issue here is the police have a, 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 a tough time in dealing with beggars. They can't actually. Um, really enforce any uh, uh, any laws against them to, to stop them doing it. They move them on. But I think with, with, with this group, they uh, and other groups like this, because this isn't just in Bath, this is around the country. Yes, We've had calls in this morning already from I'll readers have, yeah. saying that this is happening in our town, same groups of people moving in. And um, the, the police believe and hope that they can prosecute over um, some modern slavery offences where these groups are being controlled by uh, a kingpin, a sort of Mr Big, who is um, I I encouraging these, these people to go out and taking the money off them and giving them a share back uh, and is controlling them. Uh, and in that way, I think the police can tackle this issue. Um, but there was also an issue here for, for Rishi Sunak, who said back in March that they were going to try and tackle homeless um, begging and antisocial behaviour on the streets, and, and nothing really has been done on that. A last question, Alex. Great story, by the way. Well done. Uh, but um, uh, th th this gang you're talking about, I, I mean, presumably you didn't go up and say where you're from, but are, are they British or are they of foreign uh, extraction? What? Yeah, absolutely. And they're, they're, they're clearly, I think, from, from the continent, continental Europe and um, they, they speak, I think, where there was a, a mixture of sort of Arabic. Um, potentially, I mean, they, they, they could be sort of a Romani, Gypsy, that kind of thing, Romanian. Okay. Um, but they certainly spoke little English, broken English. Okay. But at the end of the day... We watched as they, some of them went back by bus on the X39 back to Bristol and then some got in a, a, a smart new Merc and drove back and they went back to their council flat in Bristol where, where, they, um, where they stay. I love, I love the Mercedes bit. It's great, isn't it? Uh, Alex, great story. Thank you very much for coming. That's Alex West from The Sun. Uh,